I wanted to share some resources. So if you're interested in learning Akkadian and diving more into this fascinating language, um, you can do it on your own without waiting for me to put out more videos. Um, if you're interested in signs, this is the book to go to, the Manual of Akkadian Epigraphy. Now, this book is in French, but most of the information that you would be interested in probably is accessible. My French reading is terrible and I can still figure out what's going on. So on this half of the book, they have a bunch of different signs. And so these might be familiar if you know anything about Akkadian, but once we go over here, they start looking more like Egyptian hieroglyphs. And that's actually because some Akkadian signs like this sign in particular do come from a pictographic origin. So do can represent the Sumerian word do, which means to walk. Um, and Akkadian would be alaku, the infinitive form of the verb. And it, the pictographic depiction started as a foot. And then over time, it is simplified into wedges. This book is great if you just want to kind of flip through and see what signs look like. Um, obviously, you're going to need something different if you want to learn grammar. But if you just want to look at signs and see how they're evolving over time, this is the book to go to, and it's available on the public domain. I'll make a spreadsheet eventually with links to everything that you can find online, so you can take a peek. If you're interested in learning grammar, you're gonna need a book that's different than Labat. Um, and honestly, I'm not really planning on dealing with grammar intensely on this channel, so if you wanna look at grammar before I get to that, which could be, I don't know when, um, I recommend looking at John Hunegaard's A Grammar of Acadian. This is where I learned grammar from originally the first semester um, that I took Acadian. It's a classic learning grammar book like you could buy for German or French or any other modern language. Um, it starts without signs. So you're not gonna learn signs until like chapter 14 in this book, um, but you learn all the grammar that you need to before you get to that point. So you learn about how cases work in Acadian. You learn about how grammatical gender works in Acadian. You learn about how um, plurals and duals work in Akkadian. So if you're really not familiar with Semitic grammar at all, you've never taken Hebrew or Arabic or Aramaic, um, you might want to look at this. If you're already a little bit familiar with Semitic grammar, you can maybe skim through Hunegaard and not deal with it so intensely and instead use Kaplis's uh, introduction to Akkadian. This is more of a reference grammar. It's not quite as simplified as uh, Hunegaard's book is, but it's really good if you already know a little bit about what's going on. You've taken Latin in high school or Hebrew before, and you just really want to get to the things that are unique to Akkadian, this is the book to go to. Um, I used it more my second year of Akkadian. Honestly, if I'm just trying to figure something out that I've forgotten, I still go to Hunegaard, so Hunegaard is my number one recommendation, but Capitalist is good too. And for dictionaries, the big dictionary for Akkadian is actually available for free online. It's called the Chicago Assyrian Dictionary. Again, I'll make a spreadsheet or something with links to everything. But if you want the big intense dictionaries, you can download the PDFs online. But if you want something a little bit more simplified, there's the Concise Dictionary of Akkadian, which is really nice. Um, this just provides um, quick definitions of words. It doesn't provide um, like lists of the texts where the word occurs. If you want that, you need to look at the CAD. But this is really nice just to see, you know, just to flip through and see what words mean. If you're doing like actual research, you're gonna need the CAD. But this is a fun place to start. You can see my coffee's really beat up and uh, my dog chewed on some of the, the M pages in the middle. So <laughs> I'm missing some of those. But this is really nice if you just want to learn some words for fun. So obviously these are just some of the resources that are available to learn Akkadian. Um, unfortunately, there's not as many easily accessible and comprehensive resources out there like there are for any other ancient language, basically like Latin or Greek um, or modern languages. We don't have an Akkadian Duolingo or something. But these are good places to start if you want to start independently learning Akkadian. Of course, you can keep watching my, my videos. I would love that if you did. 
Um, or you could see if your university offers an Acadian class. I think the best way to learn Acadian is in an in-person class, because then you can ask questions, you get to mess up and have a professor correct you, which is scary, but that's how you learn. Um, and it's just better to learn in that hands-on environment as opposed to learning by yourself. But if you don't have access to an in-person class, which you might not, unfortunately. Um, these books are a great place to start, and I'm happy to help any step along the way. If you have questions, ask away, and I'll do my best to answer them.